Good morning. We're here in Woodfox Way, which is off Cape Road, down on the southern outskirts of Haywards Heath. And I'm about to show you around number 13 Woodfox Way, which is at the end of this little cul-de-sac here. I wanted to just start here, just to show you. This is, this is the new development that was built by uh, Linden Homes a few years ago at the bottom of Fox Hill. So if you're heading south of, out of Haywards Heath on the B2112, um, towards Ditchling or Wivelsfield, at the bottom of the hill, you've got the Fox and Hounds pub, which is actually only about 400 yards away, very handy. Um, and then just after the pub, turn right into Cape Road. Come down there, and then Woodfox Way is just around in this new development. But it was all done by Linden Homes a few years ago. The house is actually only finished around 2020, so it's only four, four and a bit years old. Um, our clients bought it brand new. And as you can see, they built a lot of these three bed houses and they are chunky three beds. I think they're almost, there's something between 1,000 and 1,100 square feet, which is much larger than your average three bedroom house. And you'll see when we get inside, you've got three big bedrooms. It's just a bit wider and a bit uh, deeper than a standard house. So the one I'm gonna show you is number 13. That's the mid terrace one there. These two parking spaces, so you can see plot 109, this black car and the space there are yours. So you get two allocated parking spaces. There's plenty of parking in this development. And the other lovely thing is over the back of us here, you've got a uh, glorious countryside, which just joins footpaths and you can walk through to the old parish of Wivelsfield. Everything's very good. Um, schooling wise, there's going to be a new primary school built on this side of town, uh, just up in Hurstwood Lane. So it's gonna be a really lovely place to be able to walk your kids to school. But, and at the moment, it's hard to believe it because we're right on the southern edge of Hayward Sea. This is actually the Warden Park Secondary Academy School catchment area, uh, which is over in Cookfield. And the kids get a bus literally outside the development at the front um, to Warden Park School. And the other big thing is Chaley School, which is over in uh, South Chaley, their school bus picks up there as well. So come inside. As you can see, great big entrance hall. So again, a bit wider than a normal three bed semi. Handy little understairs covered there and another cupboard on your right, on your left. And downstairs low, very straightforward. Living room at the back, plenty of room space. And as you can see, they, what uh, Linden Holmes did, they put all this Candine or Antico flooring in the ground floor. So that if you've not had Candine or Antico, this is the best stuff you can have on the floor. And then the garden, hard to believe it, but that is a sunny west facing garden. And this one comes with a bar. And if you've got a little putty cat, you've got a door, little cat flat for the, for the cat as well. And then the kitchen, look at this. This is a fabulous size kitchen. So big, plenty of space in here. So you've got everything built in, all the appliances are built in. Room for a small, I mean, they've only got a small table and chairs. You can have a big table and chairs and a sofa in here if you wanted. Cupboard over there has got the boiler in it. But really good bit of space here. See what I mean? It's just a bit wider. Uh, if you look at a, a typical three bedroom semi is around about 900 square feet. These are just that bit bigger. If they built this house back in the 1980s, they'd have managed somehow managed to squeeze this to make it a small four bed. And then bedrooms wise, this is the smallest one. So look at this. You see plenty of room. It's a, it's a double bedroom. This one's overlooking the rear garden. I'll take you out there in a moment. It's a miserable old morning, but this is about as good as the weather's gonna get for the next few days. Second bedroom at the back, again, generous double with plenty of home working space if you want it. And you probably notice they've got the lovely plantation shutters all done. Family bathroom next door. It's absolutely spotless. We have a small person in the house, no doubt just uh, moving because we want more space. And then the front bedroom, look at this. So, You've got a nice big bedroom area behind me, a whole recess. That's just a, a freestanding wardrobe, but that, as you can see, great big double, well, triple wardrobe there and an ensuite shower room with a window. Do you like a window in a bathroom? And an oversized shower with a proper shower as well. So that's the inside. So very spacious. Just going back to the countryside thing, if you, a lot of people look at these new estates and say, oh, I don't wanna live on a new estate, it's all too built up. This is really lovely. We're right on the rural outskirts of Haywards Heath. So over the back of us, as I say, there's a lot of ground as part of this managed complex, um, which is good to just go and have a quick walk around with the dog. But actually you're adjoining bridleways and footpaths of the law. So you could actually go and lose yourself quite nicely. So the rear garden, 
as mentioned, it's meant to be a sunny westerly aspect. So the sun set through that gap there. It's 37 feet deep, it's 20 feet wide. And as you can see, they've got this, um, sh this can't be a standard terrace. This is a very big terrace. These houses don't normally come with anything like as much paving. Uh, and then a bit of a lockdown project. We've got the home bar, which is really cool. <laughs> Look at this. I almost feel like I need to become an alcoholic and use this a bit more. And there's a handy little store shed next door. When you come round, you can get an idea of the space. But a really well built house, very spacious. Uh, you're part of a, a privately managed complex, like most of these new developments. Everyone pays a service charge. I don't quite know what the charge is on this. It should be on our details by the time this goes to print. Uh, but I'm guessing somewhere between three and five hundred pounds a year. And that covers the maintenance of the place. They're privately managed complexes now. So the council don't adopt these roads necessarily. Um, but there's all play areas. There's lots of little children's play areas and greens, which are all, you know, looked after and cleaned once a week. So that's what you're paying for. Your money's going into that and various insurances. So a lot of people say, well, why am I paying a charge for a, a development? They are beautifully looked after these places now. So. Don't complain if you live on a managed complex and you have to pay an estate charge. It's being put to very, very good use. So there you go. That's number 13, Wood Fox Way. It's for sale through Mantle McTaggart. It's close to countryside. It's going to be near a very good new primary school soon. And it's the Warden Park School or Chaley School bus stop at the end of the road. Any questions, give us a call. And if you are seriously looking, register on our database or follow us on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.